Okay. Right, here we go. Um, first of all, I have more of a comment. This is a comment for me, and then I have uh, two questions from a listener called Alex. Uh, my comment, uh, David, is in relation to the pineal gland. Now, this is just basically from, from research that I've seen. Uh, in relation to fluoride, water fluorid, fluoridation. I mean, over here in Ireland, the water, the, 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 it's, it's fluoridated and has been since 1964, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, uh, research seems to prove that the, the fluoride over time does calcify and damage the pineal gland. So when, when this um, awakening happens, and if it has anything to do with uh, our pineal glands, it seems, it seems that powers that be are uh, making sure that the, you know, pineal glands are damaged, and people people obviously won't be able to use them for whatever future purpose they may serve. But that, I don't I don't know if you, if you have any thoughts on that. Just before I yeah, uh, I have now extensive medical proof that the pineal gland is just like a retina. Uh, there are these cells inside of it called pinealocytes that are basically the same as the rods and cones in the eye on multiple multiple levels. They have the same proteins. There's also the, the, the wiring of the pineal gland has what they refer to as a phototransduction cascade to the brain, which is identical, basically, more or less, to the phototransduction cascade between the retina and the brain. So the, the pineal gland is wired just like the eye to the brain. It has receptors just like the eye inside of it. And then the scientists actually go so far as to say this suggests the possibility that direct photic, P-H-O-T-I-C, direct photic events may occur inside the pineal gland. But what they mean is photons being released and detected by these retinal cells. They don't know where the photons are coming from. However, other scientists have discovered that there are floating what they call microcrystals in the pineal gland, primarily made out of calcite, which is a similar compound as what's in quartz crystals, and that these little microcrystals uh, actually are piezoelectric. Piezoelectricity means like a crystal radio. If you have the crystal sitting there, uh, it can be picking up radio stations without using electricity because as electromagnetic energy moves through space, the crystal is vibrating on a certain frequency. Um, when you have a dial on the radio and you crank up the dial, the old version of that is that you're literally putting pressure on the crystal. And as you put more pressure on the crystal, it changes its receptivity to these electromagnetic energy fields, which in turn tunes the radio station. In addition to piezoelectricity, you also have piezoluminosity. Piezoluminosity means that piezoelectric crystals can, in many cases, release photons as they expand and contract. And then I also found there's also piezochromatism. Piezochromatic crystals actually will release different colored photons at different times, depending on the frequency that's coming in. So you have the potential for a full color holographic projection system. Then you have the, the rods, the pinealocytes, as I said, the phototransduction cascade. All the equipment is there. I believe that the way the pineal gland works is it's, it's holographic. So it's, that means it's redundant. That means you can have a very small area left and you'll still be able to get some value out of it. So it is true that there does appear to be a deliberate effect, uh, a deliberate effort in place to try to get people's pineal glands to calcify. Fluoride is one of a series of compounds that will calcify the pineal gland, the halides, which includes chlorine as well. Um, all these different chemicals do have that calcifying effect because they bind to these little floating crystals and actually gum them up. So what we then deal with is there does appear to be a reason behind this for why it's being done. However, it's very important to note that the pineal gland, while it is a powerful organ, it's not like if you have calcification in your pineal gland that you will not be able to go through the ascension. The ascension is apparently going to be something that occurs on a cellular and DNA level within every cell and not just in the pineal gland. When um, you, so, just touching base on your, when you say the ascension, are we talking like a, a physical or a spiritual change here? Well, nobody really knows the answer to that. 
I do think that every person will experience a change to some degree when we go through this. And I think that once we have experienced that level of change, that some people will then be able to use that as a springboard to actually transmute into a light body. Uh, so I think everybody's going to go through an energetic change, but we all go through it at the same time. And then if you're ready, you can have that light body, which is basically the next level of human evolution. And it doesn't necessarily mean everybody who's ready for that light body will have it happen all at once either.